in any city, in any country. Go to any mental institution or halfway house you can get yourself to. When you reach the front desk, ask with no hesitation to visit someone who calls herself the holder of passion. The worker will blush and daydream. You will have to ask two more times before he finally nods and gestures you to follow him. He will lead you into a hallway. You will hear a muffled diesel engine, but for the moment it does not matter. Ignore it for now. Instead, listen to any whispering you hear. If it stops, it is vital for your sanity that you shut your eyes, for a horrifying creature will emerge from the ground and after a short time leave through the ceiling. Should you hear the whispers in unknown languages until you and the warden reach a door made of stone, you are safe. Now listen for the engine. If it keeps running, proceed and open the door. Do not even try to imagine what happens when the engine stops. Nobody has ever been able to tell after it stops. Now, if the door has been opened, the worker will leave you alone. Enter the door and walk straight forward until he closes. Now you have to say the words, Excuse me, I'd like to learn from you. If you did anything wrong, you will be dead before you realize it, so don't worry much about this. Should nothing happen for several dozen seconds, you may resume walking. Do this until you reach a heart that is as big as your head. Do not touch it. Instead, turn around. You will see either the most beautiful woman or the most horrific creature your eyes have ever witnessed. The latter only appears if you have touched the still-beating heart. Its sight alone will drive you insane and haunt you for the rest of your life. Should you see the woman, look at her eyes. Nowhere else, even if she does not wear any clothes. The beauty will literally blind you and you will be forced to wander around in her realm until the end of your life. If you are able to keep looking at her eyes, you may ask one question. Are they alive? The woman will suddenly moan soundly and lay on the ground, beginning to satisfy herself by masturbating. You must now quickly close your eyes and hold your ears shut with your hands, as her moaning will slowly destroy your mind and body, should you hear it clearly. After some time, you will feel someone touch your right shoulder. You may now open your eyes and lower your hands. Do not turn around to whoever touched you. Instead, look into where the woman was. She will now be gone. Only ash is what is left of her. Search within the ash for her uterus. Take it and close your eyes. Open them again after you felt something cold touch your head. You will be back in the mental institute, behind the warden who guided you to the stone door. The uterus is object 18 of 538. It has one child left to bear.